Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be analyzing the characters and the roles that each character play in the play The Trial of Didan Kimati by Ugugiwan Tiongo and Misere Jimugo. In our previous lesson, we discussed extensively the plot of the play and today we are going to be looking at the characters and the roles that each character play. We are going to start with the character of Didan Kimati, the protagonist and the hero of the play. Didan Kimati is a Kenyan warrior who is one of the leaders of the Mau Mau group. Mau Mau group is a group fighting for the independence of Kenya and also to liberate Kenya from the Western colonialist subjugation and exploitation. So, in attempt to get independence and also to free the people of Kenya from the colonial rule, Didan Kimati and other members of the Mau Mau movement engage in fierce war with the colonialist army with the hope and the goal to get independence to get the colonialists out of Kenya and to ensure that Kenya become a self-rule a country. And as a result of that, he was targeted. He was de uh, declared wanted. And he has also supernatural powers that even made him to disappear. Unfortunately, he was arrested and then he was tried. He was tried in about four occasions. The first one, the play opens in the court where the Dankimati was being tried and the judge had some, was asking him whether he was guilty, but he refused. He said he was not guilty of the first being charged, he was being charged of treason and also killing of uh, the colonialist soldiers. But he, he, he pleaded not guilty and even insisted that whoever should um, Whoever should, uh, should try him should be someone who is acquainted with the native laws and customs of Kenya, not a British man who does not know anything about his people, but rather come to come and exploit the people. And also we discover that several attempts were made to ensure that Dida Kimati succumb to the uh, colonialist ego. First, it was the judge, the judge promising that it's going to be fair with, for, fair with him in the judgment. And then the judge tried to woo him when he was in the prison. But didn't come out, he refused. Then they also sent a politician who promised that independence will be gotten gradually. And uh, Didan Kimati will be one of the local leaders. Didan Kimati also refused that. And a banker also came. Promising that okay, the crisis, uh, the crisis is uh, taking toll on the economy of the country, and the Dankimati will be giving a share in the bank, a share in the bank. He refused. The politician came with an Indian. The Indian also said that okay, when they submitted to the rule of the colonialists, the Indian got independence. And what the Indian was so happy about was that the Indian have their own national antenna. That is the heritage of what India has achieved as being an independent country according to the play. Now, he refused and then he was sentenced to death. Several attempts were made to free him by the woman, by the boys, by trying to bake a gun inside the bread so that the Akimaki can use that one to fight for his own freedom in the prison and possibly break out of prison. But unfortunately, he was tried, sentenced to death by, uh, the, doc, by the judge and um, it also led to another crisis. Another character in the play is the woman. The woman play a very prominent, significant role in the play because he represents the voice of the Kenyan women and the voice of the feminine gender in the perspective of freedom and fighting the colonialists who have come from other countries to exploit the people of Kenya and also dispossess them of their own land. So the woman try very, very well in an attempt to free Didan Kimati. 
by ensuring that okay, a gun is delivered to Didankimati in the prison. When that attempt failed, there was a lot of crisis and protest on the street, and the woman was not even afraid of the colonialist soldier who threatened to shoot her. She was not afraid. So she was determined, and even in the court, the woman was present. She was at the court, she was making every effort that Didan Kimati would not be killed or sentenced to death. Even when Didan Kimati was sentenced to death, we saw that uh, they, there was crisis immediately because the boy and the girl also used the gun to try to contend against the judgment of the colonialist judge. So the woman was a prominent um, character and he play a role of trying to rescue Didan Kimati and also the entire Kenya from the colonialist exploitation. Another major character in the novel, the boy and the girl. The boy and the girl, they are friends and also they are siblings. Their father is already late and uh, they were only brought up by their mother. And uh, from the childhood, they have been quarreling, though they were siblings and they have turned to beggar. And their fighting began almost from the time when one of them stole the property of the other. So the woman soon intervened and buy the boy and the girl food. And when they returned with her change, she enlisted the boy to take the loaf of bread to another person. And through this action, they begin a journey during which they we stop fighting about the money, which is symbolic of a colonialism. And also, instead, they unite in the struggle against colonialism and against Western exploitation. So, during the journey of the boy, the boy sometimes fought her, and it is the strength of the gear that keeps them on the path of an attempt to rescue the Dekimati and also to free Kenya from the colonialist exploitation. Another character is Shaw Hardison. Shaw Hardison is the judge. It's a British judge who sentenced Didian Kimati to death. And he was one of the colonialists who had a lot of derogative perspective about the Kenyans. According to Shaw, he was even helping Kenyans and uh, trying to civilize them by bringing a Western governmental style, the court and then the government to the people of Kenya and to the Kenyan territory. And he tried to woo the Denkimati to accept that uh, he was guilty and at the same time he will be uh, lenient with the judgment. But the Denkimati refused all the, all the advances and the attempt to woo him to succumb to the caprice of the Western colonialists. Even though there were other warriors who have succumbed, but the Denkimati refused. He never won. And we saw that uh, um, Hardenser is the one who argued the case of law and order against King uh, against uh, the Denkimati. And uh, Kimati always has a clear and uh, succinct refusal and self-defense. And Hardenser speak out both sides of his mouth, parroting here and there justifying the issue of capitalism and then the court and also allowing Kimati ample room to make his point against them in a way that is impossible to misunderstand. But despite that, because of the hegemony of the colonialists, Handas is still sentenced Kimati to death. And that prompted a lot of riot and then, in fact, Henderson and other colonialists tried to uh, escape from the, from the court when the, the, the crisis broke out. Other characters like uh, the Indian man, though the Indian man also was a friend of the politician who was attempting to woo the Denkimati to accept the bargain of the politician and also Judge Shaw. Hardison, so that uh, he would not be sentenced to death and then he would be given a mid judgment. But Kimati refused. The politician also was a local politician, politician from uh, Kenya, who is, from K is of Kenya origin, and uh, wanted uh, Kimati to accept his bargain and stop the crisis so that the mama will stop the movement for, um, for independence so that. 
their politicians they have a good relationship with the colonial colonialists and then continue working for the colonialism but the Denkimati refused the banker also came try to woo the Denkimati uh, through economic uh, uh, advantage so I told him that they are going to give him uh, shares in the bank and also the fight between the Mau Mau and the colonialist soldiers are uh, taking to on the economy and he begged Kimati to accept his offer and stop the war but Kimati insisted that the war is not about him rather it's about freedom of the people and also the soldier the soldier in fact the soldiers are the colonialist soldiers who were beaten brutally wounding and brutalizing the people of Kenya especially the native even the woman the soldier are threatening to kill the woman but uh, the woman also died the soldier and uh, the soldier left and before the soldier even left this one of this one of the soldiers uh, stole the food of the woman so you could see even the exploitation is not only the land it's also the people and it's not only for it's not only based on gender like the male one even the women have been exploited by the colonial soldiers oh it was really a dehumanizing experience that most of the kenya experience most of the kenya underwent in the hand of the soldiers so these are some of the major characters in the novel and in the subsequent video we are going to be discussing extensively the themes in the novel and the literary devices used sorry the themes in the play and the literary devices used in the play as well so thank you and have a good day make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that uh, you will get notified when the video on the themes and the literary devices are uploaded thank you have a good day